everyone, Libby here. Got another empties video for you today because my bag of empties is full. That's quite glary because I've glass, so I hope you can see okay. You have to mind the mess in the background because this room is still waiting to be finished off. So anyway, I'll just grab things out and I'll just tell you. So some things are here have been emptied, some things are going in the bin. So first thing that is empty is a Bath and Body Works Twilight Woods Body Wash. I've had this for a long time. I finally used it up. I don't even know if they sell that one anymore, but it was nice, nice creamy body wash. Now this, I don't know who finished off this one. Someone obviously rinsed out the container. I think it was Kevin. He used his, um, the Honest Body Shampoo and Body Wash. We actually were using this, well not this particular one, but on in the Airbnb in Maui, they had this and Kevin liked it. I said, we've got some of this at home. So it's obviously been used. It's nice. I haven't used it myself, but um, I smelt it. It smells good. Got a Sukin Super Green Facial Scrub. I have gone through quite a number of these. I've repurchased it. I really, really like it. I think I can use it every day, but I use it like if, whenever I wash my hair, it's usually when I do the facial scrub and I just use a different cleanser. I don't know if there's one in here um, on other days, but yeah, I believe you can use this every day. It's really nice and it hasn't got the. Um, the bad little bead things that go in the ocean. So yeah, it's very, you know, it's Australian owned, vegan, nine oil testing, carbon neutral, all those good things and can be recycled. So hopefully you can read that if you want to read that. So yeah, yeah, it's little micro jojoba beads and ground bamboo, so. Yes, I have finished off a little coconut lime breathe shower gel. I think I had this in the motorhome because it was bought in the states on our last trip um no not the last trip the trip before we went to disney world so yeah really nice i like that one i didn't think they sold any of these this trip i don't remember seeing any or they had sort of the christmas scents but yeah so we didn't manage to get any more of that i finished off a lush rose jam shower gel i got this from my friendly Anne for my birthday that was really nice i need a reminder smell mm, yeah but no, it was really nice one particularly for winter Another Lush product is this Dream Cream Hand and Body Lotion. I was using that as a obviously body lotion. Yeah, I wasn't that keen on the smell. I haven't. I think that's what was my second repurchase, but I don't think I'm purchasing another one. So, and anyway, I'll put that aside to return to the shop. And we have this. I believe is going in the bin because it feels full. This is a Celestial Facial Moisturizer from Lush, and I didn't like it. It was just a bit too light, I think, for me. Yeah, and I don't really like the smell of it. I've used a bit of it, and so I've given it, I've given it a go, and then I thought, I'm not enjoying using this product, so I'll wash that out. And it can go back as well. I think it's part of there. Yeah, bring back clean containers. One thing about Lush, it's easy to recycle, but a lot of these can can go in the recycling anyway. Um, kiss my what is it? Kiss my face. Um, Moisture, uh, shaving cream. I really like these, but I've had trouble with the last few pumps. So even this one, I had trouble with the pump. I've tried to sort of get out most of the product. I've sort of got down to like there, like sort of getting it out. But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I need to try and find something different to use because I've now had two pumps that have broken. But I mean, I've had a lot more that haven't broken. So I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, so I'm thinking I might try the Lush shower, Lush shaving cream next time. In the meantime, I've just been recanting this into um, another little squeezy tube thing. So I've still got one upstairs I'm working on. Okay, um, face night cream is this Boots Optiva one. I really like this. I've had a number of those, but unfortunately my chemist no longer sells these. So I have had to try a different um, night cream, but I did really like it. So that's a bit of a shame. Now the facial cleanser is this jojoba beads one. I always travel with this. So this is what I took when I went to Hawaii and Vegas because it's got, again, jojoba beads. So they're not bad beads to go in the ocean. Um, but yeah, then I can just take this and I don't have to take a cleanser and an exfoliant. So I believe you can use this, but I just this is really my favorite one, but it's a lot more expensive than this one. I think this is under $10 and this one's more like 30 25 or 30 dollars so 
um, but this would be my absolute favorite and I'm thinking now that I can't get the um, Boots brand stuff because that's the other cleanser I'm using I might go to this full time when I've used up my other ones but I always take this one for travel okay we have bought in Hawaii Hawaiian sunscreen by the Alba Botanica and it feels like there's some in it still but I'm pretty sure we yeah now it's pretty empty used all that up that was nice um, again it's vegan so no animal testing so it's a nice sort of affiliate more natural sunscreen can't obviously get this in Australia but I'd probably pick it up again when I'm overseas we used to always buy copper tone I wish we bought some copper tone over there copper tone babies particularly the waterproof babies one we like the smell of but obviously it's not as natural and possibly not um, cruelty free either so I think yeah when we get back I'll probably pick up a few of these to use have another Bath and Body Works shower gel this was cherry shiny Japanese cherry blossom and again I need this has been a while since I used this one well yeah I like that one another nice one I think most of the ones are pretty good again this is an older one we've had for a while because we had quite a lot to get through and a uh, comforter shower cream from Lush really like this one it's nice it's one that smells mm, your candy <laughs> very sweet smell but yeah like really like that we have Natio Day Cream with SPF of 15. I just continually buy this. It's my favourite day moisturiser. Always like to have a, an SPF in my day one. And it's just yeah, it's a nice cream with a pump. You know you're getting all the product out. So yeah, highly recommend that. This one I think is for a, like a mature skin. It says all skin types, but I think it's for a more mature skin. So like young people, it's probably a bit heavy for them what they would need. But yeah, it's... um from their new brand so yeah I find that really good what else we've got in here well we have another <laughs> Sukun one so I had two of those I told you I keep rebuying them and I've got a nut one on the go again um, just an essence jojoba oil this is bought from iHerb I do find this to be a nice um, body oil which I use after my shower sometimes I believe it's supposed to help with psoriasis but I haven't really found it to be particularly beneficial for that but I do like it for an, an oil and it absorbs in really quickly what else do we have here oh we have another one of those it, it's been a long time I think it's been almost six months since I've done it empty so that's why we have multiples of the same product um, I also have a Trilogy rosehip oil which again if you've watched my empties before I repeatedly buy this this is probably my absolute favorite product for my face and I've been using this now for a number of years and it's just yeah, a very religious purchase I have a deodorant again this is bought in the States um, I like their um, secret one I keep trying natural deodorants but I don't have a lot of luck with them particularly in the summer I can get away with them in the winter I've now got one that's got no aluminium in it is it uh, and it's better than the other one that's having rash problems with but still I found I felt I was a little bit smelly in this on the hot summer weather in Australia so I've gone back to using my secret one and when the weather cools down I'll probably use the other one over the winter so it's a shame because obviously I'd much rather a natural deodorant but maybe not the best thing living in Australia if you live in a cooler climate <laughs> you might be right okay this is another fail so another bin item this is aquamarine facial cleanser I can't remember why we didn't go with this one. Oh, I'll use this a bit. You can see I've used it a bit. I just didn't find it the most practical thing to use and I think it expired. Yeah. Used by August, so yeah, that's why I didn't continue using that. But I didn't really... Not a favourite. I prefer a framing cleanser in the morning. Um, I did use this Ethic um, Solid Shampoo Bar. I can't remember what. Doggy, I'm filming the vlog in here. I'm doing an empties video. Bailey's just come in. Um, gosh, I can't remember what I thought of that. Oh no, I liked it, but my psoriasis apparently got really bad, so I had to go back to using. Yeah, no, I do really like this, but 
my skin had my psoriasis flared up bad on my head while I was using this. Could be coincidental, could be nothing to do with the shampoo bar, I don't know. Because I was enjoying it. Um, I like the fact that it's a bar. Um, I thought it foamed up really nice. But I've gone back to, I've had to go back to using my, um, I think it's a DiLorenzo shampoo that I've used for years and you've seen it empties before, I had to go. But I've gone back to that to see if that helps with the psoriasis. So we'll see as time goes by, the psoriasis is still flaring. I'll probably go back to this again because I did like it and I did like the less packaging, although I can recycle the DiLorenzo bottle still. It's plastic that's not... You know, plastic can either be recycled or put in the tip. I can't be, um, yeah, it's got to have one of those purposes. So we've got enough plastic here. So this was a big solid conditioner from Lush. I think I have a little tiny piece in here. I got down to that and I have started on another one of them. Um, so I just use that with a different shampoo. So this I've got to one solid bar thing. I have two of those wipes by picture polish really really like these um, they're quite a moisturizing nail polish remover um, they also do like a bottle you can buy as well yeah i like them but as you can see i'm not wearing nail polish at the moment i don't know what the situation with the nail polish is going to be i haven't been wearing had none on for hmm, probably about two months now maybe i don't know i've lost track of time but quite some time i haven't worn nail polish my nails have gotten nice and strong so I don't know whether to risk wearing nail polish again. Also got a little Taraco and orange hand cream from Crabtree and Evelyn. And I'm so sad because I seem to be discontinuing this scent in the body wash and body lotion, which I really liked. Um, I'm not sure about the hand cream. Yeah, got the one there. Um, oh, that was the shampoo. That was this one. I didn't put it back in the box, but you can see it matches. So that's what I sort of... Well, I could have finished it off, but because of my psoriasis flaring, I wanted to um, go back to my other shampoo. I've also got, I think these were soaps. <laughs> I think there's a lush one, like a lush moisturizing bar that you use as a moisturizer. It's got coconut oil in it. And then that was one of those soaps, but I don't remember the name because I haven't kept the paper. But yeah, finished off those. That was a soap and a moisturizing bar thing. And then, oh, another soap. <laughs> I've kept little bits to share with you. This one seems to come with a bit of dog fluff. Sorry about that. So that was one that we got from Basin at Disney World. <laughs> a cute little piece left. <laughs> then I have, this is another binned item. It was a Sanctum face exfoliant. But to be fair, I don't really know if it's good or not because I could not squeeze any out of the bottle. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. I can't get it out. It's sort of blocked by whatever. Wait a minute, I've got some coming out now. All right, I might have to put this back in the shower and retry. Oh, okay. I hadn't taken the film off properly. I was trying to do that in the shower. So I'll put that back in the shower and we'll review that again next time. <laughs> I also have another little soap from Basin. That's obviously had a palm tree on it. <laughs> so two of those. And lastly, some lip balms. So I had this um, People for Plants one. This is an Australian brand, I believe. Yeah, it's Australian certified organic. But I don't look like I finished it off. So obviously, I think I got new ones I was enjoying better. So I think I retired that one. And yeah, this is a really old one. I like this soft lips one, really, really old. And I stopped going to buy it again. It was a strange one. It did have an SPF, I've used it all up. Uh, it did have an SPF of 20 in it, which is really good because the ones I'm using now don't have any um, um, SPF in it. But yeah, I don't know if you can get this anymore. And I'm not sure if it's cruelty free either. So that's it for my empties for this number of months. I'm thinking it's about six months since I did one substantial period of time anyway so i hope you enjoy if you've got any questions about anything as you can see most of it was a winner just a few losers in here but most of it's probably i mean a lot of it's repurchasing stuff that i know i like anyway if you've got any questions about anything let me know hope the lighting hasn't been too bad i think you've noticed that the product's okay looking at the screen i've also been using a different camera because my big video camera that i usually record these sort of videos on is mucking up some of my little 
Canon G7X. So hopefully it's okay. If not, I guess I'll be refilming. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.